I've slept with so many married women in my life. I have slept with so many married women in my life. I have slept with so many married women in my life that I can't trust nobody, kid. <laughs> I don't trust no woman on earth. Me personally, you have a different situation. Like you might have a woman who went to school. Y'all, you know, not in the streets. Y'all ain't never been out. You know, none of this shit. I have slept with so many of y'all wives out here. <laughs> I up. can't trust women. That's what I'm like, Dr. Omar. That's what happened to me. Let me keep it real with y'all. Let me keep it real with y'all. And Slim Thug, the rapper, I believe every woman goes. I don't believe that no woman don't go. Now, a regular woman who is seeing fine-ass Slim Thug after a show, and this is her opportunity to go, and her husband at work, or he gone, and whatever, or a woman with a boyfriend, they gonna go at the opportunity, and they gonna let Sh Sh Slim do whatever. And they in a relationship, so they don't even like rubbles a lot of the times. They don't even make you say, like, if I just said, but I just nature, this chick. A lot of people don't, who have uh, relationships, they don't even like rubbers, because they so used to having sex without he would always be like, man, you should get us. I can't say, but he was <laughs> like, like, man, face it, you my soulmate, man. That's what this is. Like, it's what it is. Like, that's what the connection is. We always gonna be whatever. It's just, it's complicated, but you are you my soulmate, so. And hey, let me tell y'all something, man. A lot of y'all do with women who are tied to other men like that. You know mm. what I'm saying? Soulmate. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the woman gonna always feel the same way every time she see him. Every time she see him, it'll always feel the same. Some of y'all go with women from my past. Every time she see me, it won't be the same. You just gotta deal with that. And what I tell you, man, you gotta make sure who you connect with is in a position to connect with you. We we gotta, like I say, just step by step it. You know, we friends right now. Let's see. But I don't have no, uh, I'm not closing, you know, nothing. I'm not saying I won't do nothing. So let's see where we grow. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Shalom, I'm Yasharala. I'm going to start out by giving infinite honors to my heavenly father, my great king. The hot will buy a shem, I will shy by a shem, I will cock a dash. I want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of great millstone. A salutation to my fellow labels in the Mashiach Yahweh Shah pushing his beloved true prosper for wins. Shalom one of you brothers. All right, and you few you few sisters that listen, all right. Uh this topic is gonna go into uh wisdom being a defense for us brothers in the faith. All right. Um you see what Sim Thug said, how he don't trust no bitch. Any female can go. All right. Before I came into ministry. And before wisdom starts supping with me, I knew bitches wasn't shit, but I always thought, hey, you got some good girls out here. All of them not fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got leg ladies. Don't get it twisted. According to the scripture, you got leg ladies. But some leg ladies here in Babylon, they're going to get delivered. They're going to be few and far in between. The average hoe here going to be destroyed. Okay? Now, you're going to have some cases like Mary Magdalene, you know, that were out here and the Lord have mercy on them, put a spirit on them to, to uh, submit under a man. But the vast majority of the women that's going to get delivered out of here is going to be younger women, younger girls, young maidens. All right. These women that are polluted uh, by this Western philosophy. All right. They're going to get destroyed over here. And like I was about to say before I lose my train of thought, before wisdom starts supping with me, I thought it had good girls. I, I thought, it had decent women out here outside of the vast majority of them. And the more you suck with the spirit, you, 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 you got to know what that nigga was saying. He ain't tripping. You can't trust none of these bras out here, man. All right. Now the law is fortunate to give you a woman and put a spirit on her to submit to you. You got brothers out here with women and the Lord ain't gonna let no man of the Lord look like a damn fool. So you got, Women few and far in between that exceptions to the rule that the Lord has given to certain brothers to please them, okay? All right? But if you don't have a woman, stay away from these Babylonian women, 
Okay. All right. This is a rapper telling you this. This is a wicked nigga. So he's in the mix. He's a celebrity. And he's telling you married women, women that are bound to men. All right. They are all struck by glitz and glamour. All right. When they see that alpha male with the money, the prestige, all right, the honor amongst men, all right, they will leave their good thing for one night of passion. That's the mindset of most of these women, man. All right. And on the lower level, it don't it could be the neighborhood superstar. Or it could be the 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 the, the alpha male hump that all the women like, all right? A woman would fuck up a 20-year marriage, a, a 10-year marriage, because it all boils down to they don't fear the Lord, all right? And the women are emotional creatures, all right? They, they're like animals. Animals go off of instincts and their emotions, their impulses. So women don't have this sense that we have that makes us all right. The Lord in his word say, this is what I'm supposed to do. This time I'm supposed to rock out. And if I do what he tell me don't do, he's going to kill me. Women don't have that, okay? The vast majority of the women here in America. So when you go to deal with these women, you got to have wisdom to deal with these women, all right? These women are traps. Um, The Bible call them deep ditches. They're very manipulative, very manipulative, very conniving, um, hypersexualized, overly pers- promiscuous, and they have no discretion. They don't. They have no integrity because this is what America pushes. Okay, so I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off and get straight to the point. And this is why the women over here are like that, and that's why he think the way he thinks. Okay, it's all spiritual. All right, this is revelation. 17 and 4, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with the gold precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication. This is talking about the nation of America. All right. The beloved brother, John, the revelator, Yachanan, the revelator, the Lord gave him a hologram and let him see thousand years into the future. And he saw um, so-called black women wearing blonde wigs, long eyelashes, all right, wearing skimpy clothing. He saw them uh, married to one man, but having sex with three other men, all right? And he say all of this perversion going down into this nation, this one nation, all right? And he say this place was full of abomination, filthiness, and fornication. Adultery is a filthy, nasty, filthy act. It's fornication, it's filthy, it's abomination before the Lord, all right? And this isn't a adulterous generation and it runs rampant here in America. All right. So the women in America rock out according to this spirit that we're reading about. This is a spirit in this nation that John is on um, prophesying about. And upon her forehead was a name written mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. That's your America. All right. Back then the English language wasn't, um, in, in, in rotation yet. It wasn't created. Okay. And John the Revelator lived during a time where the highest technology was a wheel. Okay. And fire. All right. And he looked into these modern times and saw, uh, Apache helicopters, uh, NASA, um, spaceships. Okay. Great yachts, skyscrapers. All right. Cars. Just imagine a man in the ancient world seeing the things that we see today. He's seen people on computers, Doing things, um, uh, just dealing with the high uh, te- technological advance of this modern age. All right, and what he saw was all the perversion, the the the, the murder, the 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 frauding, and he saw uh, filthy acts. Two men married, two women married. He saw all of this going on in America. He saw it was a place void of judgment, void of the law of Yahweh Bashem Shai. All right. And the people that dwell in that land, that's how they rocked out. So when it comes to our women, they are rocking out in that spirit. OK, that's why wisdom is a defense. OK, that's why Paul wrote in First Corinthians, the seventh chapter. If you're not bound, if you're loose from a woman, seek not to get bound. All right. Because these are Babylonian women. All right. Babylonian women 
are confused. The word Babylon means confused. All right. They don't know right from wrong, up from down, holy from unholy. All right. They they go they move off how they feel at that moment. No different than an animal, a brute beast. Okay? This is the book of uh Proverbs I'm about to get. Proverbs chapter eight. So lock here for that. Let me get that out the way. Proverbs chapter eight. Oh, how'd that happen? Bear with me. Look like I'm having some technical difficulties. All right, Proverbs. Eight, I'm gonna start at verse four. Okay, and this is what it reads. All right, and this is the Lord. This is what the Spirit say to the churches, and the churches are the assembly of Israelites. All right, so this is uh, wisdom defending us men. All right, telling us what to, what to get into and what not to get into. Here in America, do not get serious with these women. Now, when she, when judgment start raining forth, a lot of these women are gonna snap back into reality. But until then, like right now, it's not conducive to you. It's not wise for you to get in serious relationships with these Babylonian women. All right, they they can't be trusted. They they are a, a drunk off of this uh, Grecian way of living, and it's like it's a do as thou wilt, do as I feel. Yolo, you only will live once. All right perversion all right it ain't no monogamism going here they always talk about monogamous being monogamous these babylonian women ain't monogamous none of them are they got body counts the high the vast majority of them have high body counts all right and they hypocrites if you ask them their body count they're going to get offended but then they want you to treat them like mother Teresa, the queen elizabeth as if they're upstanding women uh that carry themselves in dignified matters it's just confusion here they, they walk like harlots, they dress like harlots, they look like harlots, all right? Their body count is that of a harlot, but they want you to respect them and treat them like ladies, okay? That's what happens when you're dealing with American nice women, okay? And this is what the Spirit says to the churches, to our, us men, so we don't um, fall in their traps because they, they deep ditches. They, they nothing more than traps for a man of the Lord. They can take you off the path, okay? Proverbs 8 and 4, unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools be ye of an understanding heart. So don't be the, in the spirit of a fool, all right, that goes off of instinct like a brute beast, all right? Sup with wisdom. Read these scriptures and see what the scriptures tell us how to conduct ourselves in this life, okay? All right? Wisdom is the apply, uh, application of knowledge, all right? These scriptures is knowledge. When you learn how to apply this knowledge, you become wise, okay? Here, for I will speak excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things, all right? And if you uh, if you are following these scriptures, man, and you know you live in modern-day Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, all right? Modern-day Rome, all right? You're going to know that it's wise not to yoke yourself with these Roman women, all right? With these Babylonian women, okay? We have a... We have a a prize that we are laboring for. We are on a mission and these women will get you off of that mission. All right. Because when you get intertwined with a woman and yoke with a woman, all right, you heard them telling that woman, she's your soulmate. You're my soulmate. All right. I'm going to say this. When you fuck a woman every day, she fucking you every day. All right. And y'all smashing. Sex is spiritual. That woman Y'all spirits intertwine and she becomes a part of you. That's why I say the two shall become one flesh. So you might logically not like the bitch, but your spirit is going to get so intertwined. Like a lot of times when men say they pussy whoop, it's not more of them than being pussy whoop more than that your spirit start calling with that woman because y'all been uniting y'all bodies with one another. Okay, and that should have get you off, off the path, man, because yo, you're gonna always be thinking about the broad. And the broad mean you no good. Cause what she's doing with you, she got other spiritual connections with other men. She feeling like that. She feeling how you feel about her. She feeling that way about six or seven different men. All right. And the demons that's on those men transfer on you, dealing with these harlots, man. Okay. For my mouth shall speak truth. All right. And this is the truth. All right. This is what the spirits say to the churches and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Dealing with these women, getting in relationships with these women. 
All right, these are vulnerable women. All right, it's gonna knock you off your off your square. It, it'll take your superpowers away from you. Falling in love with an American woman will take away your superpowers. That's something you do not want to do. Okay. Uh, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There's nothing forward or perverse in them. Okay. So when brothers do these breakdowns, all right, this is the spirit of the Lord telling you what to do to please the Lord and what, and what to keep your garments unstained from this world. They are plain to him that have understanding, that, that understandeth and write to them that find knowledge. Receive these words. rather than choice gold, okay? And wisdom is a defense for us men here in America, all right? Wisdom tells us uh, to keep our eyes on the ministry, serve your how about Shema with fear and trembling, all right? And if we are going to deal with a woman, know how to deal with a woman, all right? Know that you don't be uh, beguiled by a woman's beauty, all right? You have a conversation with them. See where their mindset are. See the way they think. All right, see how they carry themselves, okay? You don't just deal, be simple and shallow. It had a movie called Shallow Hell. Well, all he did was see, looked at the beauty of a woman, but it showed you in the movie when a guy, um, Tim Robbins, put that spell on him that he saw the women for what they really look like. If y'all haven't ever seen that movie Shallow Hell, you need to see it. So uh, Jack, Jack Black, when he would see the women, he would see a beautiful woman, but the woman wouldn't look beautiful for, to him. She'll look raggedy, rugged, and ugly because he was seeing how she was spiritually, how she thought, how she was on the inside. And he'll see a chick that didn't look all that good. She could have been big, sloppy, or ugly. But on the inside, she was a decent person. And her, her she, would, she would look beautiful in his sight. Well, that's how it is in America, man. A lot of these women, that are, when they call themselves 10 pieces, dime pieces, if you was able to see them, uh, with spiritual binoculars, they look like motherfucking um, like motherfucking corpse. They look like dead bones. All right, they wouldn't even look like a zombie. They just they look like skeletons. They look they look dead because they say that he that she that lives in pre in pleasures is dead while she liveth. Okay, and the Lord that's what discernment does and the Spirit does. It teaches us how to look at people from a spiritual perspective. Test the spirit to see if the spirit is of the Yahweh by Shema First, uh, uh, First John four and one. Okay, this is Genesis three and three. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh said, "You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die." All right, and that tree is what we just read about in Revelation seventeen. All right, what it said about um. Babylon, that it was a place of abomination, filthiness, and perversion. All right, that's what this tree was in the beginning that the Lord told us to don't deal with, okay? It was it, it was a nation that would teach us how to do wickedly, okay? I'm going to skip down to verse uh, 6, and this is what happened in the beginning. And a woman saw that the, that the tree was good for food, all right? Now, this is not literal food. The woman saw the things that was outside of how the Lord taught us to live. All right. The woman saw women being equal to men. All right. She saw women having the same authority that men have. All that's against what the Lord uh, created. All right. The dynamics the, the Lord created between men and women. She saw women dressing promiscuously. The Lord tells a woman to be covered from her head to her foot. All right. She saw things outside of the temple that she wasn't supposed to see and it looked good to her. She was uh, b b uh, bewitched by it and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to desire to make one wise. And it really didn't make you one wise, my, make you wise. All right. It deceived you. All right. It manipulated you. It made you think that committing adultery was cool, that you dealing with multiple men made you popular. All right. This is what the modern day American woman thinks she think she could get in. I'm a bad bitch. I could get any man I want. I hold that thing like that as a harlot. OK, what, what you mean? Any man you want a man supposed to choose you, you dumb bitch. OK, but that's what this forbidden fruit do to it. it, it the, these women would always were simple and got deceived from the beginning. And then the same spirit that Eve was in. 
She took the fruit thereof and did eat. That means she started committing adultery. She started fornicating. She started doing things that the Lord commanded her not to do and gave also unto her husband with her and did eat. And the eyes of them both were open. You see now, the, when before Adam ate, ate, that's why the Lord come down on us men harder than he do to women. Because when she ate the fruit, they eyes didn't, they eyes wasn't open. They eyes didn't get open and they didn't know that they was going off until Adam ate it. All right. These, that, and that's why the Lord is choosing us men first and dealing with us men right now. Okay. We're, we're going to lead the proper way. We're not going to fuck up like the first Adam did. Okay. So even though these women are promiscuous, uh, abominable and filthy, we're not going to give into their advances this time. Like we did in the ancient world in the beginning. All right. We're not going to go off like we did, follow suit, follow them and fell into their trap and their beguiling, okay? And this is what happened in the beginning, man, okay? And it's happening to this day. And they, both of their eyes was open and they knew that they were naked. They knew that they had sinned. Now us men, the Lord is dealing with us again. We know what sin is. We ain't eating those forbidden fruits. We're not partaking in them, but our women are. All right. And the only thing that's going to stop our women when the Lord start judging them and they sold fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. OK, so with the Lord giving us this knowledge, having mercy on us, he's dealing with us again. All right. You got to keep yourself unspotted, unblemished uh, from the things that are happening to you in this world. And the one thing since I've been in the ministry that poor men out of this truth. All right, is dealing with wayward women, Babylonian women. All right, and, and that, that wicked ass nigga, young thug, whatever the fuck his name is. All right, he's telling you the truth. You can't trust none of these Babylonian women, man. You can't trust none of them. Okay, this is uh verse fifteen, and I would put this is what the Lord, how the Lord judged the women. I must go to verse sixteen. All right, for doing that. Until the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow in thy conception. That's why women have pain when they have babies. That's a curse. When we get in the kingdom of heaven and we're changing to a new meaning, women are not going to have that pain when they um, get, have babies. OK, they don't even know why they having that, ba why they have so much pain and they have to get up a deals. That's what happens when you sin against the Lord. All right. When a woman has a baby, that's supposed to be joy. Ain't no pain supposed to come with that. OK. But that, that's a curse on them for being insubordinates. And they're insubordinates to this day. And sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. You see, before that, they weren't bringing forth children in sorrow. It, it was a delight to have children. They, they wasn't in pain and agony, begging a woman, begging a doctor to give them some more epidurals and shit. That's part of the curse. And the curses are still cleaving to their wicked asses. And they desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee. And if a woman is not, if you're dealing with a woman and she has quarrels submitting to you, she's satanic. Stay away from her, all right? She's going to be like one of those women that uh, Young Thug is talking about, okay? Whatever that nigga name is. She's going to be one of those women when you ain't around. Because respect, I, I teach my sons this. A person res doesn't mean a person respect you when they're in your face. Real respect is how a person deal with you when they're behind your back. Anybody going to get in your face and, and, and talk that Mayweather shit, you know, but a person really respects and honor you when you're not around. That's real respect. All right. And these women are not like that. All right. Women are two faced. These Babylonian American women. Let me say that because I've dealt with women outside of America. All right. They are not the women here in America are the worst things walking on two feet when it comes to women. All right. Women everywhere, you know, got their issues. They women, but the women in America are the lowest, the most, the black woman in America. I'm gonna even say that the so-called black woman here in America is the worst thing walking. Okay, they the worst thing smoking. They they're the worst things out here. All right, they they're wicked. All right, this is Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. All right. A woman thinks she's equal to a man. She thinks she can tell you what to do. All right. That's wickedness. That's Satanism. Okay. All right. Who, what man in his right mind is going to get joined to a woman that's thinking like that? Wisdom teaches us a woman is supposed to submit to us. A woman is supposed to get, uh, 
to not come against us. A woman is supposed to take orders. The Lord said, we shall rule over them. You're not about to get there here in Babylon, America, baby. Not in 2023. All right. They are drunk off the philosophy. I could do whatever a man can do. They, these women are feminists. A feminist uh, thinks just like a man. They think they're manly. All right. They say uh, a man can do it. I can do it. He could go deal with as many women and he's not demonized. So I could go deal with many men. I shouldn't be demonized. That's how a harlot thinks. That's how a feminist thinks. All right. They have feministic views. All right. So a man in his right mind, a man that's dealing with his ministry, you're not going to want to get connected to a woman like that. All right. If you deal with a woman. All right. You got to deal with her with wisdom. All right. You got to see how she thinks. You got to see if her think her thought process is uh is right. Do it in line with the scriptures, okay? And the vast majority of them don't, and they won't until all hell break loose. When they see they need a man, when they see uh that the Lord is against them. All right. This is uh Ecclesiastes seven and twenty eight. Which yet my soul seeketh, but I f all right uh. I'm going to start at verse 27, Salakia. All right, 26, Salakia. And I find more beating than death the woman whose heart is snares. That means a trap and nets. And her hands is as bands. Bands are a trap. Pans, nets, and snares are traps. Who, who so pleased of Yahweh shall escape from her? You see, and that's why the Lord is giving his wisdom. He's putting the spirit on brothers to do videos to warn the young brothers to come in to don't deal with these Babylonian women, especially the so-called black ones. But the sinner shall be taken by her, the simple man. All right, the man, the man that wanders out of the way of understanding. She's going to trap you in and get you locked in. And 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 and, and uh, next thing you know, you're out the ministry. Next thing you are, you're in the spirit realm. Okay, but I, but behold, this I have found, said the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh. All right, but I find not. One man amongst a thousand have I found. So the Lord say, all right, he went through Jerusalem with candlesticks and not a thousand men. He found one righteous. He said, but a, a, a woman among all those I found none. You see, there ain't no righteous women right now. It ain't no upright. The closest thing to an upright woman is the man of the Lord. There's a woman that's yoked with a man of the Lord and she's doing right by that man. Outside of that, these women that are out here, I don't care if they mild mannered. OK, I don't care if they're not in the club bouncing off the chandelier. They still have Western mindsets. They still think like Grecians. OK, like like the guys say, oh, if the temperature temperature in the room, right, a woman can't handle pressure. You say husband at home or oh, yeah, work. All right. She out with the girls. All right. You got a, a, a man that walk in the room smelling good. Got him on some product, product <laughs> shoes, some. Gucci, Gucci, uh, a Gucci suit on or something, or uh, wearing that Cree cologne, you know, got him some three thousand dollar shades on, and he coming in and he's he's a smooth talker, a smooth operator, and he tells her what she's want wants to hear. All right, a woman don't have the discretion to fear the Lord, and she don't have that seven or eight cents to if I leave with this man and deal with this man, the Lord is going to kill me. All right. Women don't have that discretion. They give in to that. Oh, he smell good, girl. Oh, he look good, girl. Well, look, I'm going to just do it for the night. I got to try this nigga. That's your Babylonian women. Women in Iran, they're not going to do it. They scared they're going to get put to death. All right. Women in Yemen, they're not going to do it. They scared they're going to get put to death on sight. All right. People across the earth, all right, not saying that they don't do it, but they don't do it at the volume. This is the mother of harlots. I'm not saying uh, those vile things don't happen in other land masses, but it doesn't happen at the gravity here. And over here in America, if you meet 10 black women, nine of them rocking like that, straight the fuck up. If you go over there to Yemen and Afghanistan and Iran, you get 10 women, probably one of them moving like that, all right? Out of 10, one probably moving like that. Okay? These women, these Babylonian women, all right, they have no boundaries. Okay? 
They and, and, and look, I'm gonna say this, and they real deceitful. You might have one that she in mad love with you, according to this society. She she feeling you. She all she all good with you. You do one thing to piss her off, man. She off to the races. You do one thing to offend her, she gonna feel you. You didn't love. You don't love me. If you love me, you would do this and you do that. They they really think we are put here to serve them. All right. And when you have a woman with that mindset that you're here to serve them and make them happy, that woman, when she doesn't feel happy, she's going to go do her thing. When she thinks that person is going to make her feel happy, when she's going to get that good fix of feeling good, okay? That's a Babylonian woman, a Babylonian woman, all right? And the Lord say the man that fears the Lord, all right? And the man that pleases the Lord, he's going to escape her. He's going to escape those traps that she's going to lay out for him. Okay? Uh, did I skip a, a preset? Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, this is... Uh, so I read. All right, this is Iraq 25 and 23. A wicked woman abated the courage make of a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress make of weak hands and feeble knees, okay? And that's the typical American woman, okay? A good woman is going to submit to her husband. She's going to support her husband, okay? When he has a bad day from work, he's not coming home to nagging, all right? If he's going through something and she see uh, he's vexing the spirit, she's going to try to soothe him, all right? She's going to try to Make it easy for him, okay? Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. That's what we just read in the book of Genesis, all right? She was deceived by the serpent like she is to this day, okay? She has no discretion. She's weak when pressure is applied to her. You'll have a woman, man, I'm telling you. The, 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 she she go out on all-girls night. When she leave that house, she didn't. she's not going out consciously to go cheat. This is an American woman. She just saying, look, me and my girls, we going out tonight, okay? When she go out, she have she don't have discretion. So she didn't go out with the intentions to cheat, but she might be with some single hoes and they go out and one of the dudes that at the place or the bar where they go will come on and, and talk to her and see her. And she can't, she don't have enough power and strength to resist his advances. That's the same thing that happened to Eve when she partake in that forbidden fruit in the ancient world. All right, the same thing goes on in these modern times, okay? And this is what the scriptures say, all right? Of the woman became came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die because she was beguiled. She was deceived. It's easy to run game on a woman. They're easy, all right? I've mastered it, all right? If a woman takes a liking to you, they're easy to manipulate. A woman give you your number, that's it. All right? If you got a mouthpiece, you're going to fuck her. Okay? You might have to take some of them on more dates than you would other ones. You know, you might have to talk on them on the phone with some more than you have to talk to other ones. All right? But if a woman feeling you, you're going to you're gonna be able to uh, manipulate her, even if you have no righteous intentions towards her because they are simple. Okay? The, verse 25, give the water no passage Neither a wicked woman, a wicked woman, liberty to gather abroad. All right, and you don't have that kind of power here in America, young man, young men. This is what the spirit say to the churches. You don't have the power to tell a woman, you, hey, look, hey, you got an eight o'clock curfew. They're gonna look at you like you crazy. They're gonna laugh. They're gonna be like, nigga, you got me fucked up. Nigga, you insecure. What they gonna, what them hoes say? You insecure. You jealous. All right, what the fuck you gonna do with a bitch like that? Nah, woman, ain't no woman gonna be in my house at the sundown. Okay, that's that's a, a, a alpha, a right? A righteous man. What, what's out? What's out there after sundown? That's what I want to know. What what you trying to get to? Okay, so it don't make no sense to put yourself through that, uh, through that drama. All right, because they're not raised like that from birth, so they just trouble. All right, you just use these bras. Don't be what the scriptures say. Be a user of this world, not abusing it, man. Okay, if she's if she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. All right, and before you even got to go through that ordeal, and when you have wisdom, you don't even get yourself in that situation. Okay, because most of these women is just like. Slim Thug, I'm saying Young Thug. Most of these women is just like Slim Thug just said. 
Okay? They think and move just like he just said. He said, I, Usher, Usher to me is evident that that guy is a sodomite. Okay? And Usher will get mad at men that's calling him sodomites. But Usher know the American black woman. He said, you can think I'm a punk. You can talk about me. Let me go sing to your girl and make her weak and watch what I show you how much a sodomite I am. All right. <laughs> and he'll have your girl. <laughs> Real talk. And that dude is a feminine as fuck. But he know that these women ain't shit. And he know a singer and a man that can dance and look halfway good that these women can't resist him. These women are simple. And you sitting here talking about her, us as men, us men like, man, that dude look like a little fruitcake. All right? He'll be able to get her up on you because he know these Babylonian women ain't shit. Okay? Anybody with eyes can see that Usher, that guy is a sodomite, man. That, that, that dude's a sodomite, man. But he can have your girl in a, in, a, in a filthy, degenerate place like this. He can have his way with your money. All he got to do is sing, there goes my lady. Ooh, girl, look at you. I like that song. But hey, on some real shit, he goes singing that shit to your girl. Your girl going to be dropping her drawers, man. Her pussy going to be getting wet, man. All right? This, this place needs to go. We need salvation, man. We need salvation. This place is trash. This place is like the dude that um always talking about the dudes that play in the NBA. He be like, uh, Kwan, let your ass on the bench. Nigga, you trash. You know, I forgot the dude named the little comedian. But hey, these hoes is trash, man. They trash cans, man. This is a, America is a fucking dumpster. Okay? This is uh Sarag 9 and 8. This is what the spirits say to the churches. Turn away thy eye from a beautiful woman, beautiful woman and look up and not up upon another's beauty. For many have been seen by the beauty of a woman, for her with love is kindled as a fire. All right? And like sometimes we do deal with women. You might take a liking to the woman, but if you deal with women, we know the, the characteristic traits a woman is supposed to have. Okay? All right? We know what the Lord say how a woman is supposed to conduct herself. So, with us knowing that, all right, we deal with these women according to wisdom, okay? We don't just be beguiled by their beauty, how they look, how they dance, how they can work their milkshake, okay? You got to see what a, how a woman thinks. You got to see if she has any integrity, okay? You got to test her and, and, and when you're co conversing with her, see uh, what do she thinks about certain scenarios, you know? Because a lot of time, these women, they... They give out their whole heart when you talk to them. You will know if they ain't shit right away. All right? Because the typical Babylonian woman ain't shit. So with that, um, I don't want to write this out. This was edifying to the hearers. I'm going to get infinite honors to my Heavenly Father, my great King, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Yahweh Kakadash, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. A salutation to my fellow laborers in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, pushing his beloved true across the four winds. Kwame Yasharala, Ababa, Ababa.